Good morning, Discovery Science Place fans. This is Chris Razor. I am here at the CBS studio in the Discovery Science Place. Of course, we are still closed to the public, but I wanted to come to you and share with you another science on the spot video. Today is May 27th, Wednesday. Some cool things going on today in manned space travel. If the weather permits way down in Florida, SpaceX will be launching the first uh, human astronauts into space, a private company launching human astronauts into space. And it'll also be the first launch from American soil in quite some time since the space shuttle was retired a few years back. So to uh, commemorate this cool occasion, we do have a nice little experiment to show you. It's a favorite around here at the Discovery Science Place. It's called Alka-Seltzer Rockets. And I'm gonna take you over and we're gonna do that in just a second. Now, if you wanted to do this Alka-Seltzer rockets experiment at home, you would need a few supplies, perhaps not all the ones we have here, but you would need a few key supplies. One of the things you're going to need, of course, is some Alka-Seltzer tablets. These are the effervescent tablets that you might take when you have an upset stomach or a headache. It doesn't have to be the Alka-Seltzer brand. It could be a store brand, but these uh, Alka-Seltzer type tablets, you definitely need those. The other thing that you're going to need is a rocket itself. Our rocket is a film canister, and specifically it's a type of film canister that has the lid that pops down inside. You can find a lot of the older film canisters that are gray with the black lid, but those don't work quite as well. These clear white film canisters where the lid actually pops down into the canister is really what you want. And then the other thing that you need is just a little bit of water. We use a little squeeze bottle, but you can use just a little cup would be fine. Finally, we have, a graduated cylinder here, a large graduated cylinder. You may not have one of these at the house and you don't have to have it, but we use it because it contains our rocket. This is actually our launch pad. So when our rocket does blast off, it kind of contains the bit of mess that it creates in there. And then of course, paper towel or a little towel for cleanup. All right, guys, if you want to launch your rocket, here's what you need to do. You're going to open up your Alka-Seltzer tablets. And for your rocket, you need some fuel. And the fuel for our rocket is going to be carbon dioxide gas. This tablet, when you combine it with water, it goes through a chemical reaction. And one of the uh, uh, materials that it creates is carbon dioxide gas. Well, we're gonna put that inside this container. And of course, we're gonna cap this container. And when we do that, it's gonna pressurize. And that pressure is going to build and build until this cap can no longer withhold that pressure. And it's gonna fly off and it's actually going to be used to cause our little film canister to fire off into the sky just like a rocket. Now the rockets that are launching today with SpaceX or the, the rockets of the space shuttle that, or the Apollo era rockets from NASA, they didn't use carbon dioxide gas, but they did burn a fuel that created a lot of pressure and hot gases that then are expelled out of the back of the rocket. And one of Newton's laws of motion says for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when those hot gases are spewing out one end of the rocket, the rocket is forced to go in the other direction, which is up, 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 up into space. So when we're ready to launch, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our Alka-Seltzer tablet and I don't need the whole tablet. I can actually just break it in half. That way I could do this experiment twice with one tablet. I'm gonna put my tablet inside my little rocket container here, and I'm gonna add just a small amount of water, just enough water so that I start to see the tablet bubbling and making that carbon dioxide gas. So I'm gonna add my water, maybe about a third of the container. And if I look inside, I can see lots of bubbling going on. Then quickly, I have to do this. I'm gonna cap this, and I'm gonna turn it upside down and put it inside our container. So I'm gonna cap this and now the gas pressure is growing. I'm gonna turn it upside down and put it inside our container. Now the problem with this rocket is you never know exactly when it's gonna launch. That pressure is building and building and eventually it's going to pop and that rocket is gonna go skyward. But you wanna make sure that you stay away from the opening at the top or if you're just doing this on the ground, take a couple of steps back because eventually going to pop off and it may even spray a little bit of water and mess along the way. So if you get the chance, watch this afternoon for that SpaceX rocket launch. If the weather down in Florida keeps them from launching, they are going to try again on Saturday. Very exciting to see two astronauts launching from American soil again, headed up to the International Space Station. And we hope that this is a, a great uh, combination 
of, uh, of a relationship between SpaceX and NASA. And uh, we would love at the Discovery Science Place to see manned space travel again from American soil be a commonplace thing. So enjoy that. We hope you have a great day. Thanks for joining us for another Science on the Spot. We hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.